Here we are at 11.02 a.m. in Concord, New Hampshire. It is Monday, March 12th, 2012. And me and Sean here were just in court fighting a double yellow line violation, which Sean received back in August of last year. And uh, two and a half hours, that's a pretty good time for getting in and out on a trial. And Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about the outcome of the trial today? Um, I didn't receive a not guilty, but the fine was suspended on the grounds that I um, don't get any motor vehicle uh, discrepancies within the next year. One aspect of this case uh, I found very satisfying is the fact that you took this to trial and they found you guilty at the standard rate of fine, but they did suspend it. So it's like they didn't punish you for having taken it to trial. Right. Um, they, yeah. they actually gave you the benefit of having it suspended. You couldn't have asked for it to be suspended. So I guess it's almost you benefited from taking it to trial because even though you had to put in a lot of work towards beating the case, or not beating the case, but... I would say I did, and uh, it was partly because of your motivation to take it to court. Uh, I was, was a... Uh... I was uh, toying with the notion of just paying the fee, but I'm glad I did. It was a lot more satisfying, and I, I think that no, um, people shouldn't take the plea bargain. Um, you shouldn't take things lying down, and uh, you know, just because somebody's in uniform doesn't make them not a bully. Upon entering the Concord District Court today, uh, you had some discrepancies. Yeah, most of the bailiffs there know me by now. Uh, I usually bring a camera in, and sometimes I'll have my fancy press badge with me. So today I had, uh, well I did have, I'll have to print up another copy, the pre-filled out motion to record for Sean's case. So usually when you have that, when you go in, you have the badge, you have the camera and the tripod, everything ready to go, they're usually like, oh, okay, just go right in, like, you're for something today. But on the way in, I had the small camera, which Sean is recording with now, and I also had this camera, which I filmed the trial on because it has uh, zoom capabilities. So on the way in, they took away my tripod and they took away this camera, but they didn't take my point and shoot, which also does video, and I very much appreciated that, and I, of course, didn't say anything to them. On the way back, having gotten my motion to record authorized by the clerk of the court, after some confusion among the bailiffs, when I went back downstairs and they said I could go get my camera equipment, they made me make a trade. I was forced to take this pic out of my hair and ask to check it with them. So I got a picture of the receipt that they gave me for my pic. I didn't know that this was, I don't know what it's considered a weapon or maybe it's a secretive recording device. Who knows, they're getting smaller all the time. But I at least found it interesting. I didn't have a hat I could wear so uh, I wore my pic and apparently they don't want anything on your head before the robed man.